Okay, first up, we have a PyTFT video hot off the press. This was filmed right before we got on air because we've been not able to do PyFT TFTs because of the chip part, chip shortage, chip part shortage, various things. Happy to have it back. Take a take take a glimpse of what should be ready soon. Um, if you've been waiting, thank you for your patience. Hey, Lidita, what's this? Hey, so I'm trying to wrap up a bunch of old projects um, before you know it gets too busy during the fall. So this is a revamp of the Pi TFT, which has been out of stock since the chip shortage because the STMP 11 uh, resistive touchscreen uh, driver got discontinued, et cetera, et cetera, that I couldn't get TFTs. And I was like, you know what? I can't deal with this anymore. So now I'm getting back to it. So what's cool is I've updated um, the chip to now be the TSC 2007, which uses I squared C. This is actually nice because it means that the SPI port isn't fully taken up. Um, and then uh, Tim has been helping me with doing all the device tree overlay stuff. So what's cool is we got, even though this is now running um, the, uh, not pot this is not fbtft this is now drm which not drm like digital rights management but like display something manager i don't even know how you parse that sentence I know. good work man <laughs> dude i don't I jeez keep, dude you know i stopped working on stuff since the, like the, the x11 HDMI, on the HDMI, smart HDMI, uh, yeah this is cool i can't keep there's a lot of stuff but um what's cool is you can actually you know like the console works you can log in on the console and, like the boot display okay. shows up and then okay. another thing you can do is i was making sure all the old stuff works like for example um, we can display images on the console. So like, you know, this is, Boop. this is not desktop mode. This is just console mode. Boop. And I can also, the other demo that I have is you can, um, display video. Uh, you can't use M player. M player doesn't support the new like okay. DRM system. Um, but you can do it with, um, MPV and that works actually really great. Okay. Um, displaying, um, through the frame buffer, uh, uh frame buffer generated by this, TFT DRM right. thing. Okay. So the only last thing I want to just get working with this is um, FBCP, which is like a utility we had that would copy what was ever on the HDMI screen to this. And that's useful when there's, there's sometimes there's um, stuff like RetroPie or yeah. other devices where it can't, um, it doesn't know about other frame buffers or like, it's like, oh, I'm only going to display to the HDMI. Like I can't do it any other way, and then you could have it mirrored onto the TFT. So that's like the last part of this. I'm not too worried because he's like, either it works or it doesn't, or there's not yeah. going anywhere in between. Um, and then I'm going to test desktop mode today um, and make sure that goes. Maybe we'll do a little video about that. And then I'm going to get this in the store, and then I'll do the 2.8 and 3.2 and the 3.5 inch, and we'll get these all to the store. Epic. By the end of the year. Mm. <laughs> okay, cool. So for the folks who know, you know couple people in the chat. Um, here is uh, more top secret. So that means I can't really tell you too much, but I thought this is funny. Uh, this is a little tiny robot, and this is the first thing it saw. That's uh, me. Um, a little embarrassing, but I thought, and that's not uh, Deep Space Nine. There's only four or five lights. This is just a little robot opening up its eyes, and this is what it saw. And I thought that was funny because this is kind of like what every robot sees, or like a little kid. And then we put this up on the socials. We finished up some of our front interest gallery. We're going to have this retro synth thing, and we're going to have a floppy disk gallery. And uh, I'll, I posted up a little bit of a preview. You saw that at the beginning of the show. I'm going to do more. And then we did a little guessing game online. And this was uh, one of the projects I'd mentioned. So as we're teaching our kid computers, they're going to start with uh, you know, the first ones. So here is one of the original Macs. And we're going to use that keyboard to kind of understand some words. She's two, but she's learning how to spell. She can do some stuff. So she's really interested. She says funny things about her workstation already. And then um, in addition to the museum having like all these keyboards and stuff, and then, of course, kiddo learning, um, I started the site Hackaday. So I'm going to put all my Hackaday logos, memorabilia, all the stuff I was working on. I made like a Hackaday manifesto now 16 years ago, and a lot of the things in the site are still there. So I thought it would be neat. That's top secret.